Good morning, everyone. To try and convince you that the best thing that we can do as teachers to prepare our students for the 21st century is to give our, our teaching a coaching twist. Because by doing that, we can help them live richer English language lives. Of course, 20 years ago, if you wanted to learn English outside the classroom, it was a bit dif more difficult. You didn't have all of these resources. These um, resources seem to answer our prayers. If we say that um, a coach's job is to encourage learners to, to practice more outside of class, then look, we've got all this fantastic material and recommendations and apps and websites and all sorts of things. I think this question is the wrong question to ask first. What can learners do to practice? I think we need to first of all ask ourselves, what is stopping learners from practicing? Identified three areas where, which I think are essential if we are going to address the, the needs of the students outside the class better. What were they? What was the M? Motivation. And the O? Correct. And finally, the P? Practice. So the first one is motivation. Um, when we're talking about motivation as teachers, we're usually talking about how to motivate our students in the classroom, aren't we? We talk about motivating activities, or how do these materials motivate the students. We're thinking about the classroom. We're in control of the, that motivation. It's our job to motivate. But if we are to coach learners in their lives outside the class, then we have to hand over those motivational controls um, uh, so that they can do it for themselves when we're not around. And they need two things. They need to be able to recognize and understand their motivation, like Maria could do. And they need to be able to maintain that motivation um, keep it going, because it often flags, and be able to boost it when it does um, uh, fall, fall below. As we all know, motivation is the driving force behind effective learning. Um, now, you are motivated because it's, you, you're making your own decisions about English, about what you learn, how you learn, who you learn with, whether or not you learn. You're in control, it's your responsibility. And we can call this motivation a sense of agency. I am the agent of my actions. Organization and goal setting. We need to help our learners organize what they do outside of class, and we need to help them set their goals. In, in my life as a teacher, I've always been very concerned with my lesson plan. I was very stressed getting my lesson plans ready for my lessons. And what I'm suggesting is that we spend a little bit te less time stressing about the quality of our lessons, although I'm not saying you shouldn't, but to also spend some time thinking about learning planning. Practice, okay, so moving on to practice. One way we can do this, of course, is to suggest ideas and techniques and apps and things like that for our students. What makes a good teacher? And uh, so a lot of them said a good teacher is able to give suggestions about apps, websites, and books. So students are asking for this. Yeah, they want their teachers to be experts at what there is on offer outside of the classroom. And I think that's a really positive idea, a, a positive move, an initiative on the part of students that I think we need to respond to. Um, so we're talking here about uh, Teacher directed out of class practice, yeah? The teacher is making some suggestions, saying, why don't you do this? With all of these activities that I've been talking about so far, it's important to follow up. It's not a question of saying, off you go, do it. You need to then say the next lesson, have you been practicing your numbers and letters? Where, oh yeah, when did you do it? How good? Let's have a look. So that idea of a competition is a good one. It's your job as a coach to sort of remind nag a little bit, maybe. Have these conversations with your students, encourage them to, to reorganize, and keep on at it. The following week, the following week, the following week, keep it going, asking, reminding, 
talking about what they're doing away from class. So I believe that coaching can really help our learners navigate and exploit all of these wonderful opportunities to learn English. But how successful they are will depend very much on how well they deal with that inner game of, of thinking about it. And our role as coaches should help. I think it's important for us to think about how our, our obviously as teachers, we need to understand how people learn in the classroom. But we also need to think about how those, those classes fit into the wider picture of our students' language lives. What I'd like you to do is to think how you can give what you learn about today a coaching twist. Thank you very much for listening. And I'm having a fantastic time. I, I, I used to live in Mexico 22 years ago, and I'm sure that nothing like this existed back then. Uh, a, a resource for teachers to come together and, and talk about um, their teaching and really focus on what they do in the classroom. Um, so and I've seen some fantastic talks so far um, uh, yesterday. I'm looking forward to another great day ahead today and Saturday.